Good afternoon, bikes. This week is Anti-Bullying Awareness. I'm Darren. And I'm Ella, and this is your Daily News. Today we talked to Mr. Alexander to find out more about Anti-Bullying Awareness Week. And we're here to talk about Anti-Bullying Week. Why do we do Anti-Bullying Week? Well, I think that the state of Kansas, there's an anti-bullying law on the books, and the state of Kansas wanted to set aside a week for schools to really highlight you know, anti-bullying and that kind of thing. And um, so this week is anti-bullying week, even though that every week should be anti-bullying week. That's what we're striving for. And so this year's theme is uh, take a stand, lend a hand. And um, really, if you want your school culture to really be an anti-bullying uh, place, a safe place for people, people of all different kinds, you know, everybody that goes here, we have 1,200 kids that go to this school. Not everybody is the same. Everybody comes from different backgrounds. Everybody has um, different philosophies. Everybody, you know, lives their life a different way. And everybody needs to have tolerance for that and respect that. And um, I just think that that you know administrators and counselors can do what we can do to try to you know keep bullying from happening but sometimes we don't ever know about it but the people who can really stop it are the students the students are the ones that you know like it says take a stand when you hear something going on the person that's getting picked on or they're saying something about lend them a hand tell people that you don't you don't agree with them that you don't you know, accept that kind of um, talk or whatever if they're calling names or if they're saying something about something or they're putting something, you know, like you guys are always on social media, you know, and someone will, you know, like people have an argument and people will pick sides and they'll tear people apart. And then other people need to step up and say, that's not cool. That's not what it's about. You know, you need to have, be tolerant of everybody's opinions. You know, that's what the whole country is founded on. And so, you know, I just believe, really believe that if, if, you want this school and to have a um, no tolerance for bullying and stuff. It has to start with the students. Number one, you know, stepping up and not being afraid to say something to somebody who's being a jerk. You know, number two is if you see something going on, not being afraid to report it, you know, I mean, you know, to an adult so we can maybe do something about it. You know, some people always say, oh, they're being called names for the last six months. But if we don't know anything about it or friends don't help step in and say something to them, you know, even if you're in a group, a group of people will step up to somebody or their group and say, you guys need to knock that stuff off. You're not, you know, um, but that's what I feel that really needs to happen if we want our school climate to be really no bullying is students have to get involved and students have to not be afraid to take a stand and students have to be not be afraid to help somebody, even if it's not necessarily their best friend and that kind of thing. So i um, sorry to kind of get on my soapbox, but you know, that's what I really believe. I believe you guys have all the power to end that if you want to end it. Now back to your anchors. Don't forget to take a stand, lend a hand. Friday is the last day to pay Interact dues and receive a t-shirt. Friday is the last day to submit... Friday is the last day to submit your name and logo design to Mr. Tinsley for the new school store. Fellowship of Christian Athletes is selling t-shirts through Friday. Order forms are on Schoology. Turn in the money and order forms to Courtney Woolitz or Miss Esser in E10. The Viking Book Club is seeing Jay Asher at the Public Library, October 12th at 9 a.m. If you would like to go, permission slips are in the library. ACT prep classes need to be paid to the bank and receipts should be turned in by October 13th. It's National Yearbook Week and to celebrate, Jostens will be giving away five free cameras. If you order your yearbook online, you are automatically entered to win. Contest ends October 13th. If you have a non-traditional Thanksgiving, the Clipper staff would love to hear about it. Now after this commercial break, we'll go, we will go over to sports. Can I just get a large caramelized coffee?
Are you going to the track meet tonight? No, it's tomorrow. Since when? Wolf posted something on Schoology about it being rescheduled. Why is everybody wearing blue? It's a blue out. Miss Anderson put it on Schoology. Didn't you see? All right, everyone, hand in your Romeo and Juliet paper. What paper? The homework last night on Schoology. Make sure to check Schoology to keep up on all things going on at Seaman. Thank you. You're welcome. How'd you know to turn that in? I checked Schoology. The next district wellness night is October 11th from 6 to 8 on the Seaman High School track. The girls tennis team is in action today. We will have the results tomorrow. Now over to Darren with the weather. Currently it's 61 and tonight it will be 64. For your three day forecast you have highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s. Today is National Taco Day and it's Derek's Rose birthday. Now back over to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Don't forget to be kind to everyone. Just bounce to this.